welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing this powerful pack with Kumba. Hi guys. She's just gonna be helping me unbox this, but she's not really gonna be doing art in this yeah, video. So Maybe you guys artistic. can let us know what art videos you guys want me and her to film, and we'll do that. Let's open it and see. Powerful packs. Powerful packs. Oh, oh look at that. Just move up. There's I so much. I want the actual stuff. Uh, Ooh, we have this. We got a paintbrush. A brush. We have paint. What kind of paint is this? <laughs> Acrylic paint. Acrylic paint. Cute. Yellow. White. Blue. And then <laughs> this. A paint bottle for what? And um, I think this is to spray the paint. You just paint on this? We got a little bottle. He's cute. I don't know. Add smash. <laughs> and then another, it's a little canvas thing for you to paint on. Cute. Okay. A big canvas. Cute. I can paint on this. But, and you can paint <gasps> I want on this. This was for the December one. Paint. And I have no more purpose for this video. Get out. Alright, so I got rid of Kumba. Because she's being annoying. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kind of just gonna go through um, these. So this is like a smaller one. I might save this for later. <gasps> or I can just draw on this one instead. I feel like this would be the perfect size for a goldfish. So let's actually use this. All right, so I'm gonna use a smaller canvas to paint what I wanna paint. And I'm also just using this little thing to mix my paint. Here I am sketching a cute little goldfish. I'm not sure why, but whenever I paint, I'm usually painting a goldfish or some type of flower or portrait. And today, I'm painting a goldfish. <laughs> I feel like I've painted a goldfish before using paint, so that's just why I'm saying that. But yeah, I was able to find this cute little reference on Pinterest. Um, the face looks weird. Hopefully I can fix it when I'm painting. Probably not a good idea to wait, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with the face right now. And this is what this little guy looked like. But this is the picture I'm referencing. This goldfish looks so darn cute. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna work on the goldfish. The colors are probably not gonna look like this since this is what I have. So we'll see how this turns out. And plus I'm not very good at painting. I am not really a painter. I think I've only painted like twice a year. So my experience with painting is nowhere, like nothing. Well, actually in high school, I did paint a lot for my assignment. But after high school, I never picked up paint except once or twice a year. And that's it. Hopefully this year I can paint a bit more because I really, really enjoyed this. It was I was a bit nervous painting this because I haven't painted in a while so that was a bit scary but after getting into it I did enjoy it and I guess I'm starting off this year right I do want to do more paintings hopefully I will <laughs> I also want to do those big paintings like on huge canvases because whenever I'm looking at like gallery art I'm just like I want to do that I hope these paints layer good <laughs> right now it doesn't look like anything I wish I had a smaller brush though Definitely gonna want it a bit smaller. One of these days I'll have a big enough space to paint those gigantic paintings. And hopefully I didn't forget to say, but this is the Powerful Pack December box. I know I am unboxing it pretty late, but I wasn't really expecting it since I hadn't they haven't gotten Powerful boxes in a while, so I wasn't expecting one. So yeah, this is why it's coming out pretty late but I do hope you guys still enjoyed this unboxing but yeah back to the painting so I was literally fighting the urge to outline this whole goldfish with the blue paint I was gonna try and make some black and then outline it but I was like uh it's not gonna look like a painting if I outline it so I didn't and I'm glad I didn't I'm glad I fought the urge to not outline it <laughs> And I'm actually happy with the result. So the only struggle I had painting this was the size of the brush, honestly. But besides that, I, I guess it was pretty okay. I just struggled putting in little details and I don't have a routine. So I was pretty much just putting paint down and hoping it looked good. 
So yeah, the only struggle with this piece was like the size of the paintbrush and also kind of mixing colors, I guess. But that wasn't that much of a problem to me. I was going into the piece knowing that the colors weren't really going to match, so I was okay with that. But that paintbrush, I didn't know it was going to hold me back like that. <laughs> but it was still a really good brush and I really enjoyed using it. I really liked the texture of the background. I liked how I was doing the little waves on the bottom of the fish. I don't like how I did it on top just because I felt like the fish is kind of warping the background. Kind of like those Photoshop fails where like, I don't know. It, it just doesn't look right. It just looks like I was trying to avoid the fish which it's true, I was trying to avoid touching it too much and so the texture up there just looks really really weird and I wish I would have paid more attention to it, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna paint something else, but this is what the goldfish drawing came out like. I really like how it looks. It looks pretty abstract, but not that abstract since I guess the silhouette of it does look like a fish. But yeah, that is what I got. I don't think... Doing a full body piece is gonna be a good idea. The goldfish is already hard enough to get details in, so I wanna draw something big so I can have details. Okay, so I decided on a second piece and I wanted to do a portrait and I wanted to make it bigger so I can add in more details. And so that's why I'm doing this one. And I also didn't wanna stop painting, so yeah. Let's reactivate these paints. Whoops, might be a lot of water. Mix skin, mix skin. <laughs> Mixing the skin tone was a bit tricky. Like every time I mixed a new skin to add on to this one, just cause I didn't mix enough the first time, I would come up with a different color. Some parts would be super yellow like a yellow skin tone and then some parts would be like a really pink skin tone and i'm just like ah why can't i get it right but yeah the final results doesn't look too bad so i was able to kind of blend it in all together to make it look good and I also decided to shade this portrait with a dark purple type of color um i kind of went back and forth because i wasn't too sure as to how dark i wanted the shadows to be so I'll make it dark one time and then add some light colors on top of it because I feel like it's too much. So I just kept going back and forth. I even tried making the purple a bit pinker. I didn't really like it. But this whole piece was a big experiment as well. So And I actually really liked the process of doing all of that. Yeah, the paints are actually really, really good quality. They actually blended really nice with each other and they layered very nicely. I didn't really talk much about the art supplies, but they are actually really, really good. I enjoyed these. Like the canvas I was using, the smaller one is like glossy, I guess. It's smooth. That's like my first time working with a smooth texture for paint. And all of the times I've painted, which is not much, I've only worked with canvases that were like bumpy, you know, like they have some type of texture. They weren't as smooth as the first canvas I was using and it was a really good change. I actually really, really liked it. And I definitely want to thank Palafo Pack for sending me their December box. And yeah, I'm just gonna let the rest of the video play. So at this point, I felt like I was overworking the piece, so I just decided to add the final details and call it a day. Okay, so here is the last piece. I pretty much just left this as it is. Not much I can do with it. What do you think, Gumba? That one eye looks weird, but... She's cute. That is it. I'm not a painter at all, so... Kiki. <laughs> but I really, really like this one, though. Yeah, that's a cute fish. And so these are the art supplies we got. And then this isn't a part of it, but look at that. It's all stuck in. What? It's still drool, it's still wet. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys liked today's video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.